Shut up and sit down. What's up, folks, from beautiful Lake Monroe, Indiana? I uh, am applying for a job here at Indiana University in Bloomington, and I figured I'd come check it out. Maybe throw a couple casts, try to catch a couple fish in the process. So, using just a couple jigs, um, chartreuse, which is the neon yellow with a white pattern. Hoping to imitate a shad, maybe a minnow, catch a crappie, maybe a wiper, which is a hybrid between a striped bass and a white bass. They fight hard and they taste pretty good, so stay tuned, folks. New lake, gonna test some stuff out and see if my Kansas fishing skills transfer to Indiana. Stay tuned, see how we do. Thumbs up for the camera, for the sub.
Ya moro. Okay. Hey, Amy, I go home before no, for the mission. Oh, look, get out. One, two, three, mm -hmm. four, five. Mm -hmm. No, 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 I can't more. Gotcha. Yeah, only 24. Uh, she will be 25, I only 24. Gotcha. Sometimes I, I think one, two, <laughs> mm -hmm. I go <forget>. mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, when you catch this many fish, it's tough. Oh, bluegill and, and crappy. Crappy, okay. And uh, cavity. You catfish? Yeah, cavity. Do you, do you catch big ones? Uh, four pounds. Four pounds? Can, can I show you a picture? Uh, no, here. Can, can I show you a picture? No. I'm, I'm from Kansas. Oh, oh, okay, Missy. Um, and this is what I caught about a week ago in Kansas. Uh huh. Okay, that's uh. Oh. Oh, really good. Oh. What kind of? That's 18 pounds. You said that's in Kansas. Oh, really good, man. <laughs> Isn't that pretty yeah, nice? Really 20 good. pounds. Yeah, really good. Yeah. But I want to catch some crappie here. I want to catch. Uh, crappie uh, here, uh, uh, I have a name, no, no, I can't for the morning coming. In the morning coming. In the morning. Catch it. Catch okay. it. Catfish in the morning. Morning. Okay. Yeah, because now so much good. Play. Play because in this, no, no, no problem. Mm. And this is no problem. You, you play, you are, you will catch it, not me. Well, enjoy the fish. <laughs> okay. See you later. Have a good night. Folks, I think it can be said, Lake Monroe, Indiana was no match for fishing with Ryan. <laughs> now, it, first time fishing in Indiana, really first time fishing east of Kansas, I think, uh, and had a good time, caught some fish. Hopefully you saw that action. Uh, to start off with, I was just kind of roaming the shorelines, throwing jigs, that eighth ounce jig. I was using that white pattern quite a bit. Um, didn't catch much on the shorelines, but if there's a lesson here, when in doubt, go to the spillway. That's the, like the body of water that exits under the dam, the outflow, a lot of times they call it under the dam, reservoirs typically have them. And there's a lot of fish there. So I went there, you probably saw that caught, probably 10, 15 crappie and a couple yellow bass. They kind of look like white bass, like they got the stripes, but there's a tint under their stomach that's kind of yellow, so. I talked to some locals and turns out they're yellow bass, which is kind of cool. And then uh, I started fishing the docks last night. So this is a two day trip, pretty quick trip. Um, and last night I met a couple kids, uh, real nice, told me some good spots to fish on the docks uh, for some crappie. So I'm sure you saw that. And then tonight I met a guy who had a bucket full of them, bucket full of crappie off these docks. Um, showed me the jig that he was using. He was using white too. Uh, with the chartreuse jig head, so that makes me think I'm doing something right. Anyway, 
beautiful lake, folks. Recommend to get out here if you ever get a chance. Lots of fish to be caught. Still trying to catch a wiper, which is one of the bigger ones. It's a hybrid between a white bass and a striped bass. But you know what? I'm okay with 30 fish. Can't complain at all. I'm going to try to get a couple more tonight, see how we can do. But regardless, we caught some fish and had a good time. Thanks for watching, folks. Hope you learned something, picked something up. Until next time, see you later.